What's good, y'all? Your boy TOJ. All right, I want to jump into this right quick, man. I came across a picture of Drake with the blackface image. And I was like, what the fuck is this about? And, you know, I get Google Trend alerts. And I'm looking at it, and the, the picture under it, it said, Pusha T, uh, two hours ago, was forced to remove the image of Drake. And not because it was offensive, because the photographer who took the picture was mad because he didn't give Pusha T permission to use it. Not that it was offensive or that the fans thumbed it down so bad that Twitter was Twitter was like, man, fuck this shit. You got to take it off. No, it came down because the, the guy, uh, Leyes, or Leyes, I can't remember, it's L-E-Y-E-S. This particular guy is from Canada. It's a Canadian photographer, I think, for a clothing line. And I don't know how Drake been famous this long and nobody never seen this picture. That's why I, I, I strongly believe this Pusha T Drake beef is like manufactured. Now, I'm not too sure about the Meek Mill Drake situation, but this shit here is so fucking fake, dog. And what I don't like is that the young people who listen to all this shit, bro, don't know the significance behind the Al Jolson blackface and that you can't take something that had a disgusting meaning and flip the image to make it something positive. Like the middle finger. You can't take the middle finger and make your own brand of clothes and say, well, the middle finger doesn't mean fuck you no more. You know what I'm saying now? Or like when uh, Hitler took the uh, swastika from India and made the swastika the logo for the Third Reich. You see the point that I'm making? And what I don't like is Kanye West tried that same dumb shit with, with the, um, the rebel flag and tried to make it some kind of black clothing logo or whatever. So, you know, your fans are smarter than you think. For the most part, most of the fans are a lot more smarter because we, we're living in the Me Too era and the, 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 the era of the protesting young people with Black Lives Matter and all of that. And not to say that Black Lives Matter got anything to do with this, but I'm just saying that the era of black young people today are a lot more woke and a lot more conscious than it was 20 years ago. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. Oh, you know, I remember when Public Enemy was out there, but the fuckboy music took over Public Enemy and got Paris out of there. It got common out of there. It smothered, you know, Tully and Quali and all that shit. Then N NWA came in. And now you got all this fuckboy music. And a lot of these rappers today, man, are just doing literally anything to get recognition. And they, they like, um, misconstruing a lot of shit historically to get some kind of shine. And for the most part, you can't really sully a lot of what was going on during the Jim Crow era and all those different, um, the iconography with, you know, the black face and the big lips and all that stuff and the story of OJ. Now, the reason that Jigga did it was he was trying to uh, juxtapose the fact that OJ Simpson was trying to pretend he was something else. But in the, in the long run, that's how society at large viewed him as the foot shuffling, step and fetch it kind of character. But, for, but, but Pusha T also used the image of like a makeshift version of Whitney Houston's bathtub or bathroom or whatever. So... You know what I'm saying now? Like, there's a certain level of taste that you got to have with yourself, bro, when you're out there trying to make, like, a name for yourself. Because controversy is good. Even a fucked up controversy brings attention to your name. At the end of the day, that shit can only really last for five minutes. And you got to do something something stupider to keep the fire burning. You see what I'm saying? Even with Kanye doing all that dumb shit, now he, he on some Trump shit now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, this whole this shit, well, now... You know, Drake got to respond and everybody like, you know, what I'm saying on, on social media is just pushing for a Drake response. It's like what, you know, when your girl bodied uh, Nicki Minaj or whatever. So it's one of the things where, you know, the, 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 the media need uh, they need headlines. If it bleeds, it leads. So um, but I don't really mind the beef, but the beef is what it is. Um, and uh, I'm just I'm just disappointed at this dude for using that fucking picture. Bro, and the fact that they tried to use the Jim Crow era. My my grandpa went through that stuff. So, and I heard my grandpa tell me some stories about the Jim Crow era, man. And that's something you can't take that law and make something cute about the Jim Crow era, and make like a line of clothing. You know what I'm saying? Now and say, well, we gonna take the pain from the Jim Crow era and make it some stylish clothing or some kind of fashion statement about that. That's some tasteless shit. So anyway, the uh, the photographer who took the picture was bragging about it, and that that's the weird part about it. We don't. I've never heard of this photographer. Or the brand of clothes until the the Google, you know, um, 
Google Trends put the picture in my um in my, my my phone. This phone here, I get the Google Trend alerts when I open unlock my phone or whatever. And I was like, what the hell is this? Pusha T is doing some other some other stupid shit. And now it's the the song of the or the song or the story of Adid Adidon Ad, Ad, I can't pronounce that A D I D O N Adidon, but I don't know, bro. Add it on or some shit. But I'm just saying it. This is get this is getting stupid, bro. I'm I'm it's hard it's hard not to follow it because. It, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on on my Facebook page keeps saying, all right, Drake got five days to, for, to respond. Now they got somebody, one of my partners, um, real comic book nerd dude, he put a picture of, uh, of Thanos with a fucking fist. And he told Drake, um, <laughs> I hope they remember you. So I'm just saying, it's some cute shit going on, bro. But I mean, come on, bro. It's just rap music. It ain't that fucking, you know, that 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 serious. What, what Biggie and Tupac had, it unfortunately led to the death of the two brothers, bro. That I didn't like. That's some stupid shit, bro. And only in the hip, his, in the the hip hop culture, it's cool if two uh, MCs get a microphone and they get on stage. And now that's some um, pay per view type of shit, bro. When all the baddest MCs can just go ahead on and freestyle it out, mic to mic, like Papoose did. Just drop a fucking alphabet and you just go after this this motherfucking neck. You go after his neck and whoever, whoever body get get the crown and get the belt. But that's not happening no more, bro. This shit is manufactured, it's fake, and I'm fucking fed up with it. And all this other dumb shit that's come, that's going with it. And the fact these motherfuckers keep on reaching with this fashion dumb shit, this stupid ass fashion shit, man. Anyway, y'all, that's my my thoughts and my opinions. Go to my other channel, um, and subscribe to um, Tough Love Dating. Go to the OpinionJunkie.com. Uh, get some artwork from my other. Uh, I got my art, my art channel. I mean, I'm sorry, my art website is uh, R. I'm Forget my own channel. I'm so damn tired, y'all. Uh, Artbyrico.com. It's A R T B Y R I C C O.com. There's for some reason there's another fucking Art by Rico. Some other Rico. Um, that that's not me. But anyway, uh, also go to the Opinion Junkie Facebook uh, Facebook page. But all that's on my all those links on my social media. Um, links to my social media are on the OpinionJunkie.com. Anyway, guys, that's it, man. I'm out of here.